Hi you guys, I'm actually back with another video. Um, it's been a long time because my daughter and I and Skyler recently moved. So stuff been a little chaotic. But I wanted to come to you guys with another video when it comes to like my skincare regimen. Because as you guys know, I do have eczema. I have said it before. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it. It's very noticeable. But I decided to do it because I actually found things that works for me. And I think it'll be great for you me to share with other people out there who's struggling with the same issue. Um, I know when I looked out there, there was not really stuff out there for it. And usually it's just like, oh, go to the doctor, they'll prescribe. Not many people have those options. So I just wanted to show you guys my options of what I do. The soap that I use is Cetaphil, the Cetaphil soap. Um, you definitely can find it at Walmart, Target, CVS. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of people have seen it. Um, Three bars of soap cost like ten dollars. Um, you're not gonna smell good. It does not have that blossom, fresh flowers smell. Yeah, I'm gonna have to spray perfume for that. That's what I do. But it definitely relieves your symptoms and it makes you feel good. Um, when you get out the shower and you get immediately ashy, yeah, you know it gives you time to you know go ahead and put your lotion on before we start irritating you and you want to scratch. So, yeah, Cetaphil works and I've been using it for years now. I've been using it for like a probably good seven years. I've been using Cetaphil and I've never changed it at all. What I have changed though is my lotion. I do not use Cetaphil lotion, but they do have it. You guys should try it, it might work. But for me, I use Eucerin, um, Eczema Relief. Um, as soon as I put it on, it feels great. Like me just rubbing it on there, and just going to town on it, feels awesome. But when it, when I finish, when I finish rubbing, um, that tingly feeling irritates me, and I start scratching. Yeah, it's not good. But um, I start scratching in my sleep. It's uncontrollable for me sometimes because. I'm sleeping I don't I don't know but when I'm up and I put this on obviously before I go to work I kind of have more I have my I have more mind control so I don't be scratching during the day I let it do its job even though it's irritating me when I'm at work I'm too busy to care but the when I go to sleep sometimes it, I, I catch myself scratching it's really good it's also expensive I think this one right here is also $10 this bottle I don't know if it even comes bigger. I feel like I grabbed the biggest one. So I definitely go through these. Also, I bought this cream that I'm about to show you guys on a whim. Like, I just saw it on sale at Walmart in Miami in the As Seen on TV section. I saw that it helps eczema. And I was like, oh, let me buy it on sale. Literally sat in my house for probably 10 years. No, 10 years. <laughs> Dead. Um, literally sat in my house for like a year before I even decided to open it and use it. Um, it's called e Elijah. E Listen, I don't know. That J throwing me off. Um, Elah. I don't know. But you also put it on, especially at night before you go to sleep, for you won't scratch in your sleep. That's what this is for. Um, I've used it, obviously you can tell that I've used it, but I kind of stopped obviously with us moving and stuff. I just kind of threw some of my products out the window. But it works, like, when I started, when I started to see, story time, when I started to see that I was scratching myself in my sleep, um, I was sometimes having like, scratches on my face or on my neck, and you have people out there that's real blunt. Oh my goodness, what happened to your face? Or, oh my god, who scratched you on your neck like that? And I'm just like, I'm too embarrassed that I said, oh, you know, I scratched myself in my sleep. Um, so I, it, it's just embarrassing altogether. This right here, it stopped me. Um, I definitely, when I started putting this on, I definitely see that I wasn't scratching myself like that. The scars that I did have was going away. Also, it helps when you keep your nails cut. Anybody who has eczema and you know you scratch, the most you could do, if you don't use any of these products, cut your nails. I promise you, no matter how hard you try to dig into that itch, it ain't gonna work. Your nail's slow. You're not gonna leave no marks. <laughs> so you're gonna have to 
try to rub it out or something like that which is helpful because you don't want to leave scars on your beautiful body but this also works it helps you not scratching your sleep it recommends that you put it on before nighttime or before you go to sleep after you take a shower last but not least i use cerevi is either cerevi or i should have googled it I don't even know how to Google how to pronounce these damn things. Um, but it's a healing ointment. It's kind of like cream also. You guys. This was about $20. Um, as you can see, I haven't used it that much because it leaves me greasy. I hate being feeling greasy. Especially at night when I'm in my sheets. I want to feel like I'm putting grease on them. Um, it says that it's non greasy feeling, but to me, it has a greasy feeling too. Really, if you guys try it, it might not have that greasy feeling to you guys, but to me, it does. But I like it. No, honestly, I do. I like it. <laughs> I do like it. Also, I have a greasy feeling. Um, if I put it on throughout the day, I won't scratch. It won't leave me like my lotion and your serum does with the little tingly feeling. It doesn't leave me. It leaves me with a greasy feeling. But it doesn't leave me with no tingling feeling, which means that when I'm going throughout my day, it's not even on my mind. So, yeah. That's good. I think they also make lotion and soap and stuff. You guys should look into that. I hope this video helped you guys. Um, I know, like I said, when I was looking for help, when it came to my eczema problems, I had to find it on my own outside of a doctor. Um, and it just takes time. I know having eczema is hard, it's definitely hard to have eczema, it's definitely, especially when it's in noticeable places, you have people who don't mind your feelings and this will just bluntly ask you what's wrong with you. Or if you're in high school, you're getting teased about it, middle school, you're getting teased about it, been there, done all that. And it, it's hard and it hurts and obviously you want to find something to just make it go away, but at the same time. Even if you use all these products and it goes away, you still have to deal with what's inside. Um, when I was little, people teasing me about it, it definitely hurt me. It definitely did something to me. But I had to learn to be like, yo, I was born with it. Which one me to do? Go crawl somewhere else in the dirt? I'm like, get over it. People have all, a whole lot of issues. And people who pick on you guys, those little small ones, that's in middle school, high school, who might find this video, those people who pick on you, they have something more going on. Trust me. I know. They have more, something way deeper going on to the fact that they have to point out something a flaw about you because you're too good and everything else. So, go ahead and try these products. It probably will work. And if you have severe eczema, you can still try these products. But more than likely, you are going to have to go to a doctor and get medicated ointment that works like that been there they have medicated ointment that in two days your crap will be gone but as soon as you stop using it it's gonna come right back which is the unfortunate thing about it but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm definitely gonna try to make more i hope these i hope this video encouraged everybody out there who has any type of skin problem outside of eczema i mean be yourself. Don't let people who pick on you or look at you weird or question you about it out loud without respecting your feelings get you down because everybody has an issue, whether it's seen or not. So I love you guys and I hope this video finds y'all. And if you have any other suggestions or if you tried it and you liked any of the suggestions that I put out there, let me know in the bottom. I'm not huge, so I'll definitely respond. <laughs> and I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Peace.